and Doctor Who fans, welcome to my first ever Big Finish audio review and today we'll be starting with the Big Finish audio drama known as Jubilee which is again a very famous audio because it was inspiration of the TV story Dalek in the Doctor Who news series so firstly we'll be taking a look at the front cover of this audio CD review this was requested by 2486 in Harry Williams 96 and Lovely Cupcakes so here we have the audio CD cover booklet we have Colin Baker as the Doctor, so this is the Colin Baker story, looks like it's carved into the wall. The Dalek, this is the Dalek right by there, and by here is like the windows to represent the whole story itself really, where it's locked in, where the Dalek's locked in under like, a basement, a cellar. I won't go too much into detail about the story, about the Dalek, that's all for you to find out. With Martin D Javis, Rosalind Ayres, and Maggie Stables who plays as Evelyn. So here's the side, and this is the 40th release for the Big Finish Monthly Range, so it's a very early release. Now we have the back of the CD right by here, and just here we just have a TARDIS with a Vortex effect by there, and just the front cover by there. Now I will read the blurb of this audio review. It is a four-parter, written by Robert Shearman, directed by Nicholas Briggs and Robert Shearman. Hooray, the deadly Daleks are back. Yes, those lovable tin pot tridents have another plan to invade our world. Maybe this time because they want to drill to the Earth's core, or maybe because they just feel like it. And when these persky pepper pots are in town, there is one thing you can be sure of. There will be a non-stop high mayhem in store and plenty of extermination. But never fear, the Doctor is on hand to sort them out. Defender of Earth, savior of us all, with the beautiful assistants even smiles by his by his side, he will fight once again to uphold the beliefs of the English Empire. All hail the glorious English Empire. Now that sounds like a jubilee worth celebrating, does it not? So the blurb really doesn't really explain a lot about the story, only the setting in the story that is in historical England to celebrate a jubilee. So that's basically what it's all telling you, but it doesn't really say anything a lot about the actual story, and it's very similar to Dalek. Now we have the innards of the CD, we have the, the really nice CD here, is again with that window to represent Jubilee as the story, which looks really nice, love the colour to it, looks absolutely lovely. And we have CD2, exactly the same, and we have the picture of Jubilee to represent the story Jubilee, that is. Now we have the booklet, of course. Now as you see we have the author's notes and by here it says the set in between is set in between the sound man which is another audio review and time and the rani all the cast and characters who played in this audio adventure jubilee and some more advertisements for more six doctor stories such as the whisper of terror all the way to the sand man and it just shows a uh, doctor who magazine a well, very early magazine that you can collect from Doctor Who subscriptions from Big Finish. Now we just have the characters in it, like Miriam Rochester, who's played by Ron Ailes, Dalek Voices by Nicholas Briggs, the female movie star played by Georgina C Carter, Farrow played by Stephen Elder, male movie star played by Jack Glant, Galakar, and Nigel Roster played by Martin Javis, and Lamb played by Kia Simmons. The cr Daleks created by Terry Nation. So my overall thoughts on the story Jubilee, it's, it's it, it was the inspiration of Dalek. Dalek got inspired from this story, and if you love Dalek, the TV story Dalek from Christopher Eccleston's era, then you would love this audio to absolute bits. It, I, I really enjoyed this story. I absolutely loved it, this one is. It's, I found it very dark, this story was. 
And even though I do find Dalek quite a dark story, which is a lot of death, this one seems a bit more gory and disturbing to young audiences. So, I, again, I wouldn't recommend it to any younger audiences because there's very disturbing deaths in this one. Someone's leg, um, I won't say who the character was, but someone's legs get chopped off in this one. And pretty gruesome that way is. I won't see any more deaths because... I don't want to finny on audiences, of course, and I don't want to spoil too many death scenes as well. So a lot of horrible death scenes in this, and I, I don't know. I do, I do like things like that. I do. A lot of people don't, but I do like very violent stories. I do. I, I just find it really entertaining, even though they die in very disgusting ways. They do. As of the the Dalek, so comparing both Daleks in both Dalek and Jubilee. Uh, I don't know which one I prefer, really, to Jubilee and Dalek, because they're both really the same story, really, it's different elements and different character characterization, and I love them both to bits, the Dalek is definitely the top of the story. I would say the Dalek shows more ag aggression in the Dalek, rather than Jubilee. The Jubilee, the Dalek's more kind of laid-backed, it's, it's not really going into the action a lot, but it still acts very threatening throughout the story, which is brilliant. So the Dalek, soon enough, does not muck about, of course. Now, in Jubilee, there are some very silly elements in this story. And some, um, it it doesn't do a lot of it. So I, I do like comedy elements in it. It's, but I say the comedy elements, some of it is rather silly. Especially when you get to the end, you go, What? Is this really happening? And I, I went like that at the end, I said, I can't believe if that happened, i I go nuts. But I won't say what happened at the end, but it's completely mind-blowing, it is, and just completely com just makes the listener go, what, <laughs> really? And say, I don't know how that's going to happen. So that really does that. And it, it doesn't really just ha oh, actually, I won't say that, that's a spoiler. I won't go into spoilers, I nearly just did. I can't really go into detail in the story too much because it's really good. All the characterization is good. I do prefer the characterization in Dalek. I just think I prefer the characters in that one rather than the characters in Jubilee. But nonetheless, Jubilee is a brilliant audio and I highly recommend it to get in your audio CD collection because I am building up my audio CD collection even more than my DVD collection because now I'm. I'm absolutely loving the audio adventures and I'm definitely going to build up my audio series and kind of relax on the DVD and I want to build up my audios to do another audio update because I, I'm so far I'm loving them and I, I highly recommend you get, get audios as well because I have inspired some people to collect more audios in my audio video and, and some people, that that's great. That's wonderful you're getting into audios, because audios are not easy to get into, I have to admit. So with with my rating scores now, with 10 out of 10, 1 out of 10, you know, all that, I have changed it now. I'll just show the column right by here. These is the different listing of audios. Now, 10 out of 10 is going to be flipping difficult to get now. 10 out of 10 is perfection. 9 out of 10 is fantastic. 8 out of 10 is great. 7 out of 10 is very good. 6 out of 10 is good. 5 out of 10 is average, 4 out of 10 is not bad, 3 out of 10 is bad, 2 out of 10 is crap, and 1 out of 10 is absolutely disgraceful. So with this story, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Absolutely great audio this one does. I would say I do prefer Dalek somewhat a little bit more because it seems like a more serious story than Jubilee, but still, Jubilee is a really good story. So I would give it 8 out of 10. Highly recommend you pick this audio up. It's not—it's probably not my favourite audio in my collection, but it's still an audio that you definitely should pick up. So that was my review on Jubilee. My next audio review will be Red, which I'm super excited to listen to the rest of. So far, if you think this story would be violent, it's probably ten times as violent. So, I'll see you in my review of Red.